everybody. So this is the tutorial video on how to work with blend shapes for the human characters. The human male and female now have blend shapes, which works for the mesh morphing. Um, and there's a lot going on, and I want to uh, kind of show you what to do without overwhelming you a little bit because there is a lot here. Um, opposed to my other characters, the creatures have much fewer options than these guys do. So. Uh, when you select the character, we're going to work with the female here. Uh, one thing you can do is turn off the wireframe using this button right there. That way you can have the character selected and still uh, visualize what you're doing. Um, the way the blend shapes work is, is there's basically a bunch of sliders. So here's face shape 2 that you can just slide back and forth on and you can put it anywhere in the middle between them. Uh, and we also have options uh, if I set the max range here to 100. You can see this is a range slider right there. Um, and you can set the minimum and maximum. Click this random button and it'll just randomize between. You can see your face changing now as it randomizes between those. Um, we can set this all of these up to have minimum and maximum values and then with one button uh, randomize all of the shapes at once. And that means that if you have everything set up in a, in, with the minimum and maximum the way you want, you can actually have a randomized character every time a character is instantiated you can actually have them be randomized so their look is unique um, as opposed to all the others. So that way if you got a bunch of bad characters, bad guys or something like that, or non-player characters or anything you want, you can have a lot of different looks. So we're going to go through that and I'm going to create a preset file that has a pretty decent setup of minimum of maximum values for, uh, for the body here. Um, and you can do some same thing with, with the wardrobe. Um, right now, visual, uh, visual. What you're able to see here is, I believe, the spalders. Um, so you can change the shape of, of these as well, and that's something that you can also randomize. So if you want to have them more, um, you know, shapely, you can do that. Uh, we also have the uh, belt here, the gladiator belt. So you can change the belt height. If you want to bring that a little, a little bit lower. Um, clearly, you know, obviously there's meshes don't always have backs so, to them, so if you bring that too low, then suddenly you can see the back, so maybe you wouldn't want to do that if you, or have it too low um, if you have the, the, the rest of the belt. You know, it's up to you. Um, it is important to, to check your work as you're going along, though. Uh, so let's just work with the body here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start by excluding all of these. Um, just going to be, uh, whoops, not there. I'm going to go up here to the very top, toggle all, exclude. That means uh, that all these will be set to do not record. The options are do not record, record value, and random on load. Uh, for the ones I want to use, I'm going to use random on load. So I'm going to do that for these two and make sure that my minimum and maximum is set to zero and a 100 respectively. There are other options where the minimum is actually can be uh, negative 100. So for neck size here, you can bring it skinnier or thicker. And the reason uh, that hat is, let me actually use the ponytail instead of the long hair so we can see the face and neck more. Uh, and we'll also turn the, oops, turn the wire frames off. Oh, it's not turning off for the ponytail for some reason. Not sure why. Okay, we'll just have to deal with that, I guess. Not sure why. Why isn't it doing that? No idea. Uh, maybe the ponytail is not included in this mix. Uh, so, okay, let me go back to it. So the neck can go smaller and larger. There's actually two shapes included with neck size. One makes it smaller, one makes it larger. Since they can't be both active at the same time since they do opposite things on the exact same object. Uh, the script, this bell shape script, uh, puts it onto one slider with negative 100 and positive 100. So I'm just going to bring this down a little bit um, and then set the minimum and then bring it up a little bit and set the maximum. That way when we randomize, the neck can change, but it's not going to be too drastic of a change. Um, a lot of times, you, you, the minimums and maximums are going to be way too drastic of changes. So. Um, one other thing to note here is we go to the tra trapezius size, or what, I'm not, I don't know how to pronounce that. If you look at the wardrobe, that's also conforming to the shape of the body. 
in most cases that should work just fine when you start combining a bunch of shapes together it, it, you might see a few errors so just watch out for that when you're designing your characters and your preset files so again I'm going to bring this just a little bit lower and a little bit higher uh, and then I can randomize that as well and then don't forget to set these to randomize on load if you want to check your work here just go up here and click the randomize all button and you'll see the character changing completely with every click of your button um, so you get a lot of different and if you want to go back you can always uh, click the um, reset all button which for some reason I put really far down here so that's the original reset values so um, let's go down the list here I'm going to speed up the video and maybe stop it on some notable uh, sections but I'm going to to modify these I'll generally start by showing the big thing like this and then just choosing a a um, minimum maximum that's somewhat somewhat um, uh, not too not too extreme because uh, when you start mixing a lot of these in a random fashion um, they can get quite uh, um, Kind of goofy looking if you if you'd have them all too too extreme. So um, instead, I'm just going to do a lot of very slight minimum and maximums uh, rather than going too crazy. So I'm going to speed up the video and I'll you know stop it here and there uh, when I want to say something. Uh, uh, Cheeks relax is one that I'm not going to set here uh, because cheap relax is actually quite helpful for making your character look older and I want this character to look older so I'm not gonna set that. So there's a pregnancy one as well. Um, we do some uh, ability to have the pregnancy look. It's not, I don't think, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's not my favorite look, but it definitely will give the impression if you want a pregnant character, uh, I think you'll get, you'll be satisfied with this, uh, with this look. So you can also use it just to make them a little bit fatter in the belly, just a little bit. Uh, but we won't include that for this one. All right, so uh, a lot of them, a couple of them I didn't use. Um, let's turn the wardrobe back on. Let's see, we had the trousers, undergarment top, and spalder chest, I believe. Yeah, and the belt, and Truges, I don't know how to pronounce the word. All right. So this is the uh, character here, and what I'm going to do in order to use this in a game system and also be able to save it and, and continue uh, making more presets if I so choose, I've uh, used the toggle all here to just say random. So all these are random on the load. You can do include record value that would record the specific value. So this would always be negative 16. This would always be 18.6 or something. Random on load would uh, randomize it based on the minimum and maximum values. And exclude means it wouldn't be recorded at all if for whatever reason uh, it's already been changed in the game and you load this preset during the game uh, it will simply ignore those um, shapes it won't reset them so that's an important thing to remember uh, so random on load the rest of these are all set do not record and I'm going to save this one um, save this as female uh, face and body 
and demo so you know it's the demo one the one I created whoops okay I'm gonna cl click this green button export values as preset now I've got the file here it's just a text file with lots of you know letters so the R is random star is ignore if there were any that were not being that were like uh, the exact number then the value will be shown here this is just a text file so inside your game you can you can uh, you can load this via code um, the blend there is code here if you if you open up the code you can you can see it but um, it's it's used uh, here with the preset files just bring this right here um, and then you're gonna look for the code for load preset and then when I do that you can see the body and face adjusting so um, if I create a new camera here and zoom in on face and body right here Oops. Oops. free aspect alright so now uh, we get two different views um, now when I select the character and I just click this load preset it's going to load all the, uh, the random values and for the most part, uh, the character will look pretty much normal with various looks. Um, if you do find uh, as you're going through and you're just clicking through that, hey, for some reason it doesn't, you know, it's giving some cartoonish looks that aren't realistic enough for your tastes, um, then you can go back and figure out what exactly is causing the, the problems that you're seeing. For instance, it's the eyes here, um, you know, there are a lot of shapes and when you start uh, mixing them all together then they can create some unintended consequences um, so if you do find that uh, you know the eyes are, are messed up like right here we can see that um, the outer shape could be to blame you know that was up to 12 uh, inner shape you know might maybe is an issue or eyelid size could be an issue um, so you can randomize that and see if you know that's an issue or eyelids depth perhaps that's an issue so you might want to say okay let's just make this um, much less uh, value so it's you know less of an of an issue um, eyelids top is probably fine we're not doing crow's feet eye angles probably fine We're not going too extreme, but if you decide, you know, because the eye angle can go for, you know, you can get much angled eyes. It's quite unrealistic. Um, to the opposite, it looks like I don't know, something else I don't know, entirely. So uh, we can reset to that zero, hit the min maximum. Now we've got min maximum. Um, maybe we'll just set that to the max. So it's just very slight differences. So there's there's a lot of um, things to check out if if you decide that the um, look isn't quite right. Um, we've got this part. No, that's not much of an issue. Eyes puff top isn't doing too much. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, now if we want to save this one again, again, all we have to do, uh, if we just click that again, it'll save it as a second file. So um uh yeah so so uh you actually don't need to save it again i don't know why i did that um now that we've reset our minimum maximums when you when we load this preset it will still do random so you can see the all the changes we're getting okay so that will be part of the demo scene i'm going to do a very similar thing to the mail and if you have any questions, let me know on the forums. All right, have a great day, everybody. Oh, and before I go, um, you can also do that with the, with the wardrobe if if you want to like have the wardrobe be randomized, um, and then save a different preset file. And then you know you you don't have to load just one preset file when you create a character. You can actually load multiple ones. So you could create one uh, preset file that only deals with the nose, so only nose stuff. Uh, or only eyes, or only face, or only the body, or only the legs, or something like that. Um, and and you can go really fine-tuned if you if you so choose. So there's 
there are some options here on how you want to set up for your game. But um, hopefully you'll see that this system is pretty versatile and allows you to do a, a whole hell of a lot of um, changes to the character to make sure that, you know, each human you create is slightly different from the rest. So, all right, have a great day, everyone.